Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of project management key concepts from the project management body of knowledge. This one in particular is decision tree analysis. Decision trees are used to support selection of the best of several alternative courses of action. So, you know, maybe we have a few different ways that we could go and we actually need to start analyzing that and which one is the best and which one is not the best. And to do that, we look at alternative paths through the project and they're shown in the decision tree using the, these branches representing different decisions or events. Now, each of these can have associated costs and related individual project risks assigned to them as well. And those risks could be both positive or negative. As we know, we've got threats and opportunities. So here is an example of what that looks like. As you can see, we've got the, the different branches of the tree and each one has that, uh, that you know, cost associated with it and also potentially uh, the probability and impact of the risks associated with that decision path. So that's a really handy thing to know uh, and we, we need to know what if something goes wrong, obviously what's the cost of that and also what's the cost to take that path. So the end points of the branches in the decision tree represent the outcome from following that particular path, which can be negative or positive. And the decision tree is evaluated by calculating the expected monetary value of each branch, uh, which is quantitative analysis. So that's where our qualitative and qual quantitative differences come into play. Quantitative analysis is the cost or the monetary value. And we want to know what that cost is going to be so we can follow the optimal path. So, you know, avoiding additional costs where we can and making sure that, you know, we've, we're keeping our costs down while still providing that business value of the project. And that is decision tree analysis.